Hey, what's going on guys? Sean here, coming at you with another uh, dose of G4 technical uh, video. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys a quick rundown of how the, uh, the G4 pressurizes, how we hold a pressurized cabin um, through uh, high pressure air from the engines. Right here is the overhead uh, panel that you guys have seen uh, a couple times probably, but right here is the one we're going to talk about today. This is the bleed air system. Uh, this is basically the valves that allows the high pressure air to come in from either the engines left and right or the APU. Uh, this is how we turn that, uh, that system on. Uh, once we get that high pressure air coming in uh, from the engines, it comes down here into what we call packs, uh, pneumatic air conditioning kits. Uh, that is what makes the air cool. When you pressurize that air, even though it's very cold outside at high altitude, the high pressure air comes in at quite hot temperature. So we have to cool it through these, uh, these packs. That temperature is controlled through these knobs right here. We can control the cabin temperature separate from the cockpit temperature. And once the air, airplane's fired up, we get the readouts right here on what the temperature is. Uh, and that's how we get the air into the airplane. We don't really control how fast that air comes into the airplane. We, re we really have to control how fast the air leaves the airplane. And that's how we hold a, uh, a particular cabin pressure. And that's done with this system right here. Uh, this basically controls the outflow valve, which is just a door on the side of the airplane. You guys may have seen it before. I'm going to show you again here in a few minutes. Uh, and it just allows the air to leave the, uh, the cockpit, or leave the, the cabin at a specified rate. Uh, so these are the switches that control that, um, whether we're flight or landing. Uh, when we take off, we go to flight. When we're coming in for a descent to land, we switch it over to landing mode. We usually leave it in manual. We can switch to, I'm sorry, we usually leave it in automatic. Uh, we can switch it to manual mode and control the outflow valve with this knob right here. Not typically done, it's only in uh, real ab abnormal situations. And then you can uh, control it with the air data computer one or two. Number one is typically what does everything, but uh, if we have another abnormality, we can switch it over to number two. One other place that we have to make some settings is right here on this panel. It's right in front of the, my right knee. Um, this is also part of the pressurization system. Things that we have to set prior to takeoff and during flight. Um, we're going to set our, our cruise altitude with this knob right here. Uh, so if we're going to be anywhere between 36 and 43,000 feet, I'll set that. We're going to set the current barometric setting, whatever it is at the field for takeoff. And then prior to landing, we'll set the uh, landing field uh, barometric setting. This is over here is the tape that's going to set whatever the landing field elevation is. So if we're landing at a very high altitude airport, we may have to run this way up here to you know, six, 7,000 feet if, uh, if need be. Um, but right now we're, we're down at pretty low elevation, so we're just going to leave that down here at, uh, at sea level. And this controls the rate, how fast you want the cabin to climb or descend. Uh, right there you can see we're about a climb rate of 500 feet per minute and a descent rate of 300 feet per minute. So let me go outside and show you guys the outflow valve and the safety valve, what that looks like. All right, here is, here's the uh, outflow valve and the safety valve. This one's the outflow valve, this one's the safety valve. Uh, you can see up inside those grates there that there's just a little door and that opens and closes. It has two electrical motors that will allow that to uh, work independently for redundancy. If one fails, then the other one can take over. And it just closes off to uh, hold the air inside the airplane uh, and allow it to pressurize. If that one were to fail in the closed position, uh, what could potentially happen is the airplane could overpressurize and, uh, and rupture the, uh, the fuselage. So that's where the safety valve comes in. Uh, that one will pop open and allow the air to escape and prevent any uh, overpressurization of the airplane. It also allows for uh, rate limiting and things like that. It has a, a little other function, but typically that one just is there, not really doing much in case something goes wrong. This is the one that really does all the work. All right, guys, so that's the uh, pressurization system on the G4. Hope you guys learned a little something. Uh, hopefully you can uh, ask me some questions, see if there's anything else you guys want to know about it, and I'll be happy to answer it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Give me the thumbs up, and we'll see you guys for the next tech video next week. Keep living the corporate pilot life. See ya.